What's up, my lunatics? Welcome back to my channel. But if it's the first time, my name is Anastasia Luna, and welcome to you too. All right, guys, today, so I've been obsessed with uh, Japanese metal, and I actually, until recently, until like maybe six, seven months ago, I had no idea that Japan has such a huge metal scene. I know, I always knew they love metal, but I didn't know they love metal that much and have so many metal bands, especially old female metal bands. So, um, a lot of you suggested this uh, band to me. I don't know if it's all female band or what it is, but I'm super excited and, you know, I'm probably going to love it because so far I have not seen anything mediocre coming out of Japan. Um, so, yeah, super excited about that. But first, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps me out. And if you like the channel itself, please subscribe. Also, guys, as you know, I'm a rock singer as well. I scream, pop yourself And all the links to my music are going to be included in the description of this video. So please check it out. Let me know what you think. Let's go. Bright dear, go. Oh, it is all female metal band. Let's go. Very like almost symphonic -y. All right, um, let me stop right here. So, when they started, I almost felt like a speed slash power metal, and then she started singing, and it's a actually a very beautiful lyrical kind of melody. I feel like I'm watching Sailor Moon or something. Uh, I love that they all wearing um, different outfits. I love that the lead singer wears more like modern, kind of like a punk rock kind of rocker chick outfit but then the guitar player is wearing more gothic outfit with the corset and a dress i really like um that they have their each own style really cool i love the color scheme of this uh music video i love 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 when it's shot in like a black beige and gold i love it uh you know who did it um ginger pisces slipknot uh did the video like that they did i just love this kind of color scheme um it's a very interesting mix overall um i feel like her vocals are very high up in a mix which um it's not that it's bad or good it's just a different kind of mix like every time i listen to ben made love bites uh baby metal even though all of them are very very different from each other uh, they have a tendency to put their vocals a little bit deeper in a mix and it's more of a musical piece and with this particular band I'm probably you know I, I'm absolutely sure they have different producers and different people that mix and master their tracks because it's very very it is just I feel like here instrumental part all the instruments are back in the mix and she's up front really cool very different i don't think i've ever seen this with other uh japanese metal bands really cool all right let's go into the course so far i love it very beautiful lyrical melody and i hope they're gonna give me um a guitar solo because so far every time i watch a japanese metal band they have like a lead guitar player so let's go oh that's beautiful
The location is beautiful, the house. here uh, I love the course it's so catchy um I like the whole castle thing and I love how the inside look I love the location I almost wish they gave her the mic because like this is like a live not live performance you know what I'm saying like when they when they put a band and then make it like they're performing live I almost wish she had a mic in front of her but you know that's their choice really beautiful again I know I said this but now that I see the the whole band kind of together i love that all of them have different hairstyles have different costumes and again it's it's a ch it's a personal choice and it's a personal preference of the band or of you know their managers like when you look at love bites i love the fact that all of them have like relatively kind of like a matchy matchy outfits still very different you know but the same color scheme and it looks really good it's kind of like a full package that um all of them wear like white and gold really beautiful um and bandmate when they started i did a couple of reactions to uh that band bandmate they had those um maids outfits but w after performing for whatever how many years how long they've been around like seven years or something um they kind of like branched into having their own costumes you know and this band um, is very different. You know, some some girls are wearing pants. Some girls, the lead singer, like I said, looks like a punk rock chick. You know, very different. And the guitar player at the very back wearing this beautiful kind of almost like a doll kind of gothic doll kind of outfit. That's really cool. Again, I, one is not better than the other, but it's just something that I noticed, which is really, really cool. All right. She is so high up in the mix. I hear her vocals so clearly. It's so different from other metal bands from Japan. Very interesting. All right, let's go into the chorus, which is really catchy. <laughs> All right, all right, we're gonna stop right here. This breakdown was awesome. This breakdown was awesome. I'm gonna say it again. This breakdown was awesome. I don't know what to say. I wasn't expecting this because the whole, yes, it's rock music, but she has a ve very lyrical kind of voice and she, she moves really fast and... Um, the melody is very lyrical and the chorus is very catchy and then they go into this grimy kind of breakdown almost like almost kind of uh, kind of like new metal ish you know like kind of like electronic -y. really cool all right guys suggest more songs by them to me because i was not expecting that i also love how the whole video accommodated that musical breakdown that you know the director was not just like ah eh, let's just you know they just you know film something no like they put everything in white and black and 
This was an, you know what? Let's listen to this again because this was an awesome breakdown. I was not expecting this. Where does it start already? Here. You went from lyrical song into like a grimy, heavy, with a little bit of electronic stuff in it. Back to beautiful lyrical voice. Wow, that was grimy and dirty and heavy. Uh, I feel like they finished the song the way they started the song. I feel like they switched like five different styles. Like, well, not five, like four. They, the powery kind of like speedy metal at the end and, and at the end and at the beginning, and then very lyrical kind of rock music, and then the kind of new metally kind of like a grimy breakdown. Wow. I need to move to Japan, and I know I said this in my other videos, if any of those bands are looking for um, a blue-eyed uh, Russian-American singer, I'm literally just gonna grab my passport and move there. Like, I'm not even gonna pack, I'm just gonna sell everything. Like, just to breathe the same air as all the musicians in Japan, I don't know, is it like what they eat, what they drink, like, what's in their water? Like, every time I hear something from Japan, it's fantastic. It's it's like it's like it never disappoints. And I know they they have great musical programs and they have great um, uh, universities for musicians and guitar players. And damn, yeah, Japan, yeah. So I am moving to Japan. I'm gonna go pack and I will see you soon. All right, guys, my name is Anastasia Luna. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps me out. And if you like the channel itself, please subscribe. Also, guys, as you know, I'm a rock singer as well. And all the links to my music are gonna be included in the description of this video, so please check it out. Let me know what you think, and like always, good to see you